Vietnam. Finally, after long five years and after the pandemic, nakabalik kami dito sa Vietnam. Vietnam is one of our favorite holiday destinations dahil napakalapit lang niya sa Manila. The flight was only two hours and nandito kami ngayon sa, nako nakalimutan ko kung anong lugar to. Basta in District 1, we're staying at the Rex Hotel. Nandito siya sa kalagitnaan ng District 1, malapit sa lahat ng mga tourist areas, sa palengke, sa shopping, the perfect place to be when in Vietnam. So, kung nagbabala kayong pumunta dito, District 1 ang talagang first choice, first option. Kasi within walking distance lang halos lahat ng mga tourist areas dito and of course the famous Bentan Market within walking distance. So, syempre ngayon, mag-food trip tayo. Kakain tayo ng iba't ibang klaseng pagkain. I'm going to show you around this beautiful city, Ho Chi Minh, or also known as Saigon. Our first stop is the Notre Dame. Magpapa picture tayo sa Notre Dame. Unfortunately, hindi natin sila na inform na darating tayo. Nire renovate po ang Notre Dame. Ayan. Sayang ko na inform daw natin na darating tayo. Tatanggalin nila yung mga <laughs> scaffolding. So it's under renovation. So, pupunta na lang tayo sa post office, which is just katabi lang ng Notre Dame. And kung budget traveler ka, hindi ka magugutom dito kasi in Vietnam, kaliwat kanan po ang street food. And you can see here, they are drinking coffee. Hello. And marami mga tinda dito, yan mga ganyan. So we are inside the famous Central Post Office. So sikat na sikat to because of the Gothic architecture. So makikita mo dito talagang, kasi nga ang Vietnam, di ba? Sinakop sila ng mga French. They've been colonized by the French for so many years. Kaya naman yung pagkain nila is talagang, mapapansin mo may French inspiration. Malakas yung kanyang French inspiration. Including the architecture ng mga buildings dito. So, isa tong central post office sa pinupuntahan na makikita mo, ang Ali Aliwalas. And, operational pa din. So, pwede ka magpadala ng postcards sa mga namimiss mo. Look how nice. Kung may papadalan ka ng postcards, sino yung tao na yun? Nanay ko. Ano ba? Tanay mo si Sandy. Kung ipapadala ka doon ng post, postcard. Sino ang papadala mo ng postcard? <laughs> Ikaw, postcard o pera? Anong gusto mo? Postcard o pera? Postcard o pera? Ikaw, postcard o pera? <laughs> postcard. Postcard o ganda? Postcard o lalaki? Anong gusto mo? Lalaki <laughs> pala. Magtanong ka ng stranger dyan, would you rather get a postcard or money? Or me? <laughs> postcard or me? Buying durian ice cream. Ice cream. This is durian. Mmm. Mmm. Ang sarap. Okay? 
Durian at durian. Durian ice cream, so delicious. He needs to buy love. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Sinisira new book. Her hair is expensive. <laughs> You can pay in peso. We paid here. We're going to eat lunch at a Vietnamese restaurant. Madaming restaurants dito. Actually, masarap din kumain sa mga sidewalk. Ang ganda ng weather dito ngayon. Hindi mainit, hindi malamig. So this is just the perfect walking, traveling weather. So this is salad. This is squid salad. And this is the pad thai. The food is nice but service is very slow. Medyo magtitiis ka lang. Dear kay Dayan to. Oh, so this is ito. Rice cake. This is good. So ito yung pancake may laman sa loob. Actually, when you eat this, nakakamay ka lang. Tapos ibabalot mo sa lettuce. Tapos some basil. And then, ilulubog mo sa nuok nam. Second order of spring roll kasi super sub. Ito yung kahit ang bagal ng service. Yung lasa ng pagkain, mag-aano, mag, babawiin niya. Yeah. Ang sarap nitong fried spring roll and sulit to. Mm. Ang juicy-juicy nung laman. And very refreshing. The Vietnamese halo halo, they call it Susan Haglo. For sure, mali ang mali yung sinabi ko. Pero this is their version. It's made of fresh ingredients. And obviously, they use gata. Yun dati, mas maganda yun dati, no? May ma mas maraming sahog. Mm. Pero ang sarap, no? Oh, tingnan mo yung nata ni Le Jelly, oh. Mm. Mm. Parang espasol. ba? Diba? Yung mahaba, parang espasol. Makunat. So, may, ma may makunat. Tapos, eto. Eto, oh, parang gummy bear. Mmm. Sarap. Eto, dito kami kumakain ng halo-halo. Nito. Kasi dati, di ba, na ano ka, na typhoid. Na typhoid siya sa palengke. Kumain siya ng halu-halu doon. Ito yung parang ano, oh, parang espasol. Mm. So I'm trying the cashew. Pwede pitikin. Mmm.
welcome to Kochi Tunnels. Nandito tayo ngayon sa Kochi. This is one and a half hours from Ho Chi Minh City. Dito yung para bang war site. The Vietnamese created the Kochi Tunnels kasi sila lang yung kasha dun. So magsuot-suot dun sa ilalim. Ito, ito daw yung mga ano nga to American American war tools. <laughs> ano to? Kuchi. Pero ibang kuchi. Anong tawag? No, kuchi Nilio. <laughs> kuchi Nilio. Si mother. Mama mother Kuchi Nilio. <laughs> ano kaya? Pupusta tayo. Kasya ka kaya doon sa kuchi tunnel? Wala akong balak pumasok. Bakit? Kasi alam ko na hindi ako kasya. Yeah, hindi. Alam mo ba yung pwede ka mag-wish doon sa ilalim ng kuchi tunnel? Pag nakapasok ka. Ah, talaga? Uh -oh. Pwede ka mag-wish, tapos kung pag nakapasok ka, tapos nakalabas ka, the Matatapan wish will be granted. Ah, sige, papasok ko yan. Diba? Ano yung wish mo pag nakapasok ka? Secret. Ano nga? Lala lalakin. Eternal love. Charat! <laughs> Hi! Welcome to the coaching tunnel. Where's the tunnel here? There's no tunnel! What are you saying? We're going to put it on Welcome to the armory. Do you know how to use guns, Erin? No. Why? Because I believe in love, not war. <laughs> <laughs> but love doesn't believe in you. <laughs> if you are to choose one weapon, Erin, what do you want to choose? Of course, we're biggest. Why? Biggest. Why? Because the bigger, the better. <laughs> okay, welcome to Gucci Tunnel. This is the secret oh. entrance. Yeah, this is the secret entrance. Okay, very violent kind of fire. Okay, now, and you know that the last soldiers need to camouflage when they're fighting with Americans. See you again, Cambodia. <laughs> hands up, hands up. I want to see hands up and speed down. The secret entrance. At the beginning, you know, they make the tunnel very small to stop big marriage. Can she try? <laughs> she she wants to try. Okay, so the, the she, other one, you can try the other one. She wants just I think just get in a photo because you cannot get out there. They make very small. This one, you see? Very small. Size, very small. This is original. I think this one. This one is bigger. Where? I am bigger. They make. So you know, in the war, a secret entrance, many sides. No one does well. Is that okay? If you want, you do it. I will close it first and then I will close it. Dapat may mga props yung gaganya ng kanan tao. Oh, camouflage. So up na. So mo up ka. May lalaki jan sa ilan. Hindi na. Hindi na makan. So dirty. <laughs> it's so tiring. Huh. <laughs> 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 Arian, like, do I dive? That's so morbid. This is the entrance. This is not the original design. Oh, but before it's smaller. Erin will fit. Will she fit in? 
Ayan, so papasok na tayo sa tunnel. Erin, mauna ka. Ha! Ha! Si Erin ba yan? <laughs> ano? <laughs> She is a superstar in the Philippines. We will go down there? Can she go down there? This one. Gusto mo ikaw? Okay, dito naman sa masikip. Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh! Kakalo, kapala dito. Ay! Yung pwet ko na lang ang nakukuna, no? Oh my gosh! Ayan po, ganito po kasikip dito. Ay, ang sikip. Ah, ito, paahaw na. Ay, hindi! Traffic! <laughs> Traffic! Ayan, nag-wish ka na ba? Nag-wish ka na? <laughs> Parang kabintila. Never again. Erin! Ano mo sasabi mo? Nag-wish ka ba? Ha? Anong wish mo? Kasava with deep. Siyempre, magko-coffee trip din tayo. And here, bukas pa ba? Wow! Smells like good coffee. Walang ah. katapos sa akyatan. We're here. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa Okio Coffee Shop. Malapit lang to dito sa Bentan Market and just across Saigon Center. This is actually a contemporary coffee shop. So, kung mapapansin mo yung ambiance, medyo iba siya dun sa typical coffee shop na makikita mo in Vietnam. They are famous for their egg coffee and coconut coffee. Mapapansin mo din, medyo pricey. Pero sabi ng mga locals dito, It's best to experience it, so take my natin today. The coconut coffee, Vietnamese coffee. Ano nasa? Tasty. Matapang yung kape. Lasang Vietnam talaga. Coconut coffee. Mm. Awesome. Matapang and well balanced. And it's refreshing because of the coconut milk. Mm. So, ito yung famous product dito. This is the egg coffee. But this is ice. So, pag sinabing egg coffee, uh, taliwas dun sa paniniwala ng iba na nilalagyan ng hilaw na itlog. No. 
Ang ginagawa nila is they whip the egg yolks with condensed milk or sugar until it's ribbon stage or parang saba yon. Pag saba yon, ayan, makikita mo yan, o, yung malapot na yan. Ayan, this is ribbon stage and they do it perfectly kasi nga Vietnam is has, has been, was colonized by the French. So, one of the techniques na kanilang nakuha is yung galing nila sa French patisserie. So, ito, tingnan mo, this is the perfect ribbon stage. Ayan, o, perfect. So, yan yon Kaya egg. Parang may custard yung kape. So, when we mix it, titikman natin. Look. Ang tagal lang nito. We waited. Parang 15 minutes na. May natikman na kami egg coffee kahapon. Sa isang, no, isang araw, sa isang coffee siya. Pero, titikman natin to. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Hindi overpowering yung sweetness. Tamang-tama lang yung yung lasa niya. And yung beans, ma ma malalasahan mo talaga na it's very contemporary, very fruity, very acidic. Pero nandun pa din yung tapang. Ayan, nalalasahan mo yung parang chocolatey, woody flavor ng beans. And mas lumabas siya when mixed with the sweet uh, sabayo. Masarap. So, I'm here sa gitna ng kalsada. Bibili ko ng spring roll. One. Ito mo yung spring roll. Oh. And also this, one piece, one piece. So, makikita mo, gugupit-gupitin nila yan. Ang galing. So, while walking, ito, nakakita ko ng mga locals na kumakain ito. They call this the bread pan. Huwag kung makikita nyo sa isang pinggan, different meats, tapos may tinapay, inulubog mo. So, ganito po talaga yung kultura nila makikita nyo. Sa labas po naguhugas. So, kung medyo maselan ka, this is not for you. Hindi naman ako maselan. And, makikita mo dito, puro locals talaga yung kumakain. So, ito, upo ka dito sa maliit na bangko. Yeah. And, umorder tayo ng mixed. Let's wait for it. Mixed siya. Meron kang egg. May parang... Ooh! May meatballs. May sardinas din daw. Tapos, ito yung parang... Ano yung parang lioner? Nakalimutan ko tawag. Yung parang meats combined together. Parang pate. Gano'n ay? O, oh, tignan mo. Tida bread. So, ganito nila kinakain. Parang tinapan naman nila sa... Tikman muna natin yung sauce. Mmm. Sardinas nga. As in yung nakalatang sardines. So, pinaghahalo-halo nila yan. Ginaganyan. Pate. Tikman natin yung meatballs kung harina. Harina pero masarap. And dalagyan mo din itong palagi silang may pickled vegetables. So feeling ko ito is parang breakfast or brunch item dito sa Vietnam. Mm. 
Mm. Alam mo, for 35,000 dong, or around less than 100 pesos, sulit na sulit na to, especially kung hindi ko kumuha ng breakfast doon sa hotel mo. Delicious. This is the pom pom or broken rice. Ito yung kung meron tayong tapsilog or binalot. Ito yung version nila. Obviously, mag-isa lang ako dahil tumakas po ako while they are shopping. Nagpo-food trip ako dito sa kalsada. You know me, I don't normally go dun sa mga famous na mga food stalls, yung mga pinipilahan. Pag may nakita ko mukhang masarap, pumupunta ako dun. Tumitigil ako at umu-order ako ng kung ano-ano. So, let's try this kontam. So, to eat it, nga teko, medyo babasagin mo siya. This is the new oknam, yung kanilang patis with sugar. Buhos mo lang and paghahalu-haluin mo lang lahat. May itlog, may grilled pork chop, And you just mix them all together. Tikma mo na natin yung baboy. This is the grilled baboy, grilled pork. An lam got. Manamis na mis, parang binabag in patis and konting sugar. I can taste some lemon grass. An lam but niya, kasi ayan makikita mo. Pag umorder, sa kapalang talaga nila iniihaw. And they, they grill it in high flame. Painit na mainit talaga yung ihawan nila. Kaya talagang mapapansin mo, sealed na sealed yung juices nung baboy. And eto na, tikman na natin pag pinagsama-sama. Mm. Mm. Very comforting. Very familiar. Para kung kumakain ng tosi log na may kakaibang components, may iba't iba pang mga laman-laman. Very fresh. No? Kasi Vietnamese food is known for the use of fresh ingredients, fresh herbs, lots of vegetables. And meron tong parang, I, I don't know what this is, parang siyang omelette that has rice, parang sotanghon. It's really, really good. How much is the compound? Seventy thousand dong. So around mga one hundred sixty pesos. Hindi na din masama kasi actually makapal yung baboy. So pwede na rin and sulit na rin. Dito lam po ito sa may malit na kaina near Saigon Center. For our last dinner in Saigon, we are buying bunny. isa sa nagpapasarap dyan, yung fresh butter. See? Yes, you hear it. Ang butter sa Vietnam is fresh. They don't use margarine. Just the best fresh butter. So, this is my banh mi. Super duper good. Nothing compares. The French bread, the panlaman, everything, super good. Mm. 